Hello, Bizzle Barry. I'm Barry Bush, Barry Bush, Barry Bush, Bizzle, 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 Barry, 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 Barry Bush. What's up, baby? I was watching you play today, man. Before I went lives. Is Nami dead? Good morning. I hope everyone is doing all right. Weekend is almost here. Unless you don't work Fridays, and I guess it's already here for you. But hello, hello. Um, I recorded and uploaded episode 3 of the Unwritten to Diamond series, and that's already on YouTube. That was a Nami game, so I've already played Nami today. Um, yeah, it didn't, f it didn't feel that great, the play, actually. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I don't know if it's just because I'm super comfortable with the Nami numbers, and then having the numbers reduced just felt gigabad, but... It, it didn't feel great playing it, so... Just a heads up, anyone that's been playing a lot of Nami lately, you're going to feel the W and the E damage now, for sure. But hey, everyone in the chat. Hey, Putra. Hey, Ghost. Hey, Tanaka. I'm Bird and Suck and Char. Thank you for the 23 month resub. Thank you very much. Hey, Courtney. Hey, Sonic. Hey, DL. Hey, Deet. Hello. Hello, hello. Um... In the patch notes, did they say that they were going to change the the item build path of, like, Morena Nomicon and stuff? Because I must have missed that, if that was a thing. Let's go actually into it now, just to check. Oh, they did. Bastards. So they made Chemtech cheaper by 200 gold. And they made Morello more expensive by 500 gold. I missed that completely. Yeah, you don't build the Bandle, uh, Bandle Glass Mirror for Chemtech anymore. It's a forbidden idol. Which is a little bit ass for someone like Nami, but not bad for someone like Sona or Soraka. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the Grievous screen changes. I, I think they're really shit, honestly. I think I can understand what they're trying to do, but I would honestly, I think it's a massive failure on Riot's behalf. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I think revert and just make healing less from the champions that are the healing issues rather than changing his items, honestly. I don't understand what they're doing. Like, from my opinion, it feels like no one on the balance team plays enchanters. So they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. 
That's my perspective of it. They just they changed a massive aspect of enchanter supports in Sodoki and um they haven't really thought about the consequences for that. So Yeah, I don't know. I I it doesn't it just doesn't make any sense. There's no real proper incentive to complete the item apart from just completing the item because you can. I don't I don't get it personally to be honest. Yeah. So it's like, oh there's too much healing in the game. Let's make it so that everyone can get forty percent grievous wounds for eight hundred gold, but then it's like the completed items are just kinda And yeah, the fact that it does give healing shield power on something that has Grievous Wounds just feels so disconnected as well. I, I don't know what they're thinking, actually. It's kind of just... They haven't thought about it properly. It seems quite rushed. Um, so, yeah. Thor Mel feels weird. Yeah, I don't understand that change either. I don't know why they would remove the Grievous Wounds from crowd control. The fact that you need to have the target hitting you. Basically, they have kind of nerfed Grievous Wounds. Instead of buffing it, in a way. It's really weird. It's just really, really weird overall. Um, I would have loved to be in like, the room with them talking about the Grievous Wounds and what they're doing to it. And I'm surprised it went through like this. It just feels super weird. So yeah, I don't know. Also in game, it doesn't say that Morella Nomicon gives um, 10 magic penetration either. And also the tool tips on a lot of items are broken right now, which can happen with hotfixes. They need a proper like 0.2 slash 0.3 patch in order to be able to fix it. So new players are gonna be giga confused as well. So yeah, I don't know. They need to release a point two patch as soon as possible. Even if it's just to fix a lot of the tooltip bugs and stuff. Like we don't have broken tooltips for two weeks. Honestly, knowing Riot, we probably will. I I can almost guarantee it. We're gonna we're gonna skip point two and go to point three is how what's probably gonna happen. So that's probably what's going to happen. One champion I do want to try out is Senna with the new crit changes. Um, also, the chem Drake, Chemtech Drake buff is so fucking weird. So the every time you kill Dragon, the Chemtech Dragon, instead of 5 tenacity percent and heal and shield power, it's now gone up to 6%. But like the Chemtech Drake soul got buffed as well. 10% damage resistance and increased damage dealt when below 50% to 11%. Whoa! Whoa! 10 to 11? Whoa! What's the fucking point? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's a bit less powerful than the other drinks. So we're giving some small buffs. They should just, like, it just feels so crap. They should just make it so that it has, like, 5% damage resistance and increased damage dealt at all times and then an additional 5% and, like, when below 50%. It's just, it just seems so standard and so simple. I don't understand. Like, it's not... I don't understand, man. This balance seems so weird sometimes. It feels like they have, like, one or two competent people, and then the rest of the people are just, like, just changing stuff for the sake of changing it to be edgy. It's, like, really weird. Is the cat truly dead, Frown? Hey, sweet. Is the cat truly dead? Uh... In a, in, yeah, generally, yeah. It got drowned. <laughs> I 
I don't know if this is controversial, but I prefer uh, the old hex text soul. I'm surprised they just didn't keep the old hex text soul thing where you survive like for two seconds longer what, when you die, wait, were to die. And then just put like a more of a cooldown on that, like a GA, like a lower cooldown than a GA. Like, that was way cooler. It was broken as hell, but confusing. I don't think it was that bad. It's like Renata's W. I think most people are used to Renata's W now, right? But without the revive, just like you, just a zombie for two seconds afterwards or something, or even just like, yeah, even exactly just like Renata's W or something like. You say God no, but it's like a Dragon Soul, right? It should be a. Uh... A thing that gives your team a dramatically like increased in chance of winning for for taking four dragons. It should be a win condition. Like it shouldn't it shouldn't be so shit. No one knows how to use Renata W. I mean, like it would take a tiny bit of people getting used to, but I don't think it'd be that bad. I think it could have been balanced, honestly. Even if it meant like, okay, then your damage is then reduced by like 50% or something. I don't know. There's something. It was kind of cool, honestly. It was the only good thing about the dragon. And they removed it, and now it's like, it's so basic now. Um... Let's do that game. I don't want to do center into Mimu. You need to add more screen visual cues that you have Renata W on you. Um, maybe, but it's like the same with like Thresh Lantern, right? It's like no <laughs> giant red arrows, like YouTube thumbnails, like pointing to the lantern to click it. Do you know what I mean? I think it's just like some champions are just more suited to high ELO, right? I think that's fine. Hey, talk. Thank you for the thirty-two month three so Thank you very much. It's just one of those things. Like once you know, you know. Like if you see Thresh's lantern on the ground, like as a new player, you're not gonna think to click on it, right? It's just a lantern on the ground. It's just like another spell, right? Also, did anyone watch the Freak's rundown of the 13.1b patch and how he was talking about Yumi? How, like, she's designed as, like, a new player champion and that's fine, but she can't be strong in high yellow. That's such a cop-out. It's, like, the biggest cop-out ever. It's the shittest excuse in the world. Oh, yeah, this champion's, like, really easy to play, but if, if that's the case, it totally shouldn't be viable in high yellow. It's, like... What? what the fuck are you talking about? That's not a right mindset at all. Only difficult champions can then be played then in high yellow? Like what? Like, what? Why can't easy champions be high yellow viable? Like why not? That's not the problem. The problem is, is that they, she just needs a full rework, honestly. The fact that she is a champion that can go immune to all damage by it being attached to someone and do the things that she does is just too much. I would even argue that Yumi's not even a, uh, she has a very like low skill floor, right? A high skill floor, like starting skill floor, right? Does that make sense? Like she can be played by a child, but her actual like 
the things you have to do on Yumi and things, the amount of abilities you need to understand and cooldowns and stuff in order to be able to like min max on Yumi is actually insanely high. I think they just needed to make it so like Honestly, okay, I think they should have kept everything the same, right? Be controversial here, kept everything the same, but made it so that the W had like a timer. So like you you could only be attached to someone for like X amount of seconds. So you would have more like time of being like vulnerable or unable to do anything or whatever. That's my take. But then what would the bots do? I don't know, my dude. Alright, let's see the end of flash. Thing is, I don't have Ignite, so I don't really have. Plus, the Mimi's here. I don't really have a great reason to go in. Also, I need the Hyper Mini Map. Rare. But I don't know. I think the argument that they're using is bad. Like, the, me, them nerfing Yumi as a whole, I don't really care. Um, but like, using the argument that, oh, she's an easy champion, which means that she shouldn't be allowed to be played in high elo, is such a shit way to put it, honestly. If anything, that's going to put people off watching esports as well, though. Because it's like... If you have a champion that you like playing and you're new to the game... Oh, what are you doing, my dude? What the hell? Huh? Like, if you like playing... Same with the Enchanters, like... Enchanters that get such a... Um... I had a bug. <laughs> but, um... What was the sin? But yeah, Enchanters get like one of the worst representations in like high elo. Like it's actually like hype if uh, if Nami or whatever gets played and it's like, oh yeah, yeah, we're, we're sick of seeing Nami. It's like, dude, like what, how often do Enchanters get played anyway, man? Like, like Janna and Sona and Soraka. Like, ever since Ardent Meta got, Ardent Sensor got, like, nerfed, it's actually like, Oh my god, there's an Enchanter being played? Oh my god. Oh, this Pharos is really bad.
be yeah, I don't know. It annoys me. What is he? This, this fucking Varus. <laughs> like actual, just so bad. Well, I have to roam, my dude. Get me out. I could maybe try something here still. There's plenty of me to go around. Wait, what? Do this or not? Get the roar about. Hey Citrus, how you doing? But yeah, I kind of just need a hardcore room here. Just still has no flash. We'll try something. Happy hey, Faye. Friday, every berry. Bizzle Thank you heart. for the 29 months, say. I hope you're doing well. He's gonna die again, isn't he? Can't die of that. Pushing. Not really getting anything done, huh? Um, 
can Varus handle Jin by himself? Probably not. He's gonna hit by a big. Yeah, okay, he's fucked. <laughs> he has to kill him here. Oh, okay, alright. What the hell did I just witness? Is that faker, dude? Is it faker? Get in there, kinda. Um, we've got a lot of plates off of their team. We've got four on the top turret, four on the bot turret, none mid though. It's quite a big freeze at us. Oh, okay, so I say. is in Narnia right now. You can quite easily get Dove here. God, what the f- I can't move, dude. <laughs> I literally could not move. But at least we got passive. What the hell? Man. I was literally cosplaying a flat earther trying to explain to someone, a scientist, that the earth is flat. Like, what the fuck? Just couldn't move. Brain not work. So then it was like slow, but then it was immediately into a Mumu Q, and then I got stunned by a Zillion Bomb, I think, and then it was um, another Mumu Q, and then there was an Mumu Ulti there as well. It was literally like four seconds of crowd control. Oh, the string are not coming. Oh, okay. Has been 
Hey Shadow, and hey everyone else in the chat, I hope you guys are doing alright. I've got no passive, I'm kind of reluctant to fight. No, it's done. Yeah, our map control has been kind of weird, even though we've got like more pl plates and stuff on them. Hey Egg, thank you for the tier 1 sub, welcome to the berry bush. What's the berry, what do you recommend to climb in with gold for? I uh, type exclamation mark tier list, I made a tier list for this current patch, which came out like less than 12 hours ago. Well no, I lie, 14 hours ago it, got, it came out. Well, they used to lot on me there, I'm just wondering if it should still be sticking around. They've got it right, yeah. There's a herald that but it's despawning shortly. We need to do it now. Passive up in 30 seconds. No, virus, you're griefing, dude. He's so lucky that I made me miss that Q. Um, okay. Hmm. Hey Guts, you come to cry alongside me? Hey, appreciate you. There's a Baron up. Cyan does not have TP, so it's risky that he's like push pushing push both sides right now. Let's get an 
no great. I've got a passive. Gen flash. Stranger used to ulti on me. Maybe I get to revive her. No. Jin dies. Riven dies. Sign still spit pushing bot. He doesn't have TP to take part in the fight. Oof. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good. That was a 4v5 as well that we ended up winning. How did it even work out? Well, I mean, they used a lot of me though, right? They used... Amumu queued me. Syndra ulted me. I think Amumu tried to queue Varus and missed. I don't know what happened. I can't remember what happened to Amumu ulti or if it got used. But Syndra using her ulti on me to then just make it so passive. And then Riven then had to focus my passive for a couple of seconds there instead of going on like Varus to prevent me from reviving. Um, so yeah, they kind of used a lot on me, actually. Like, if they had just saved Sindri ulti for um, Rengar or Varus, I think they would have won that fight, actually. Ah, fucking that dude. Exhaust, using Jin, Zidian ulti. Jin goes down. Uh, he's got my cows. The Zidian. Uh, Akali missed her E. Nice double knock up there from Cyan. Nice moves there from Akali. Yeah, I don't know. The uh, the Michaels there from Zidian made that fight actually super awkward because it meant the um, good job. It meant that my E missed. I wasn't expecting him just to move out of it. Yeah, I'm not having much value overall right now. Apart from like the second last fight. When they used a lot on me. If I can try and get them to do that again, but with actual people nearby, that'd be better. Yeah, I'd always take Radiant on Zack. I was hoping I'd be out of range there. Sidian ulti used again. I'm like, I'm pretty screwed here. Yeah, I was literally just saying, I hope my team is doing other stuff on the side, but no, they're not. <sighs> Don't have a jungler now. Varus is dead. Okay, so is there, Baron? Plus they're one, no, they're not one dragon away. Yeah, I thought we were still fighting over here, doing quite well, but we weren't, 
they had managed to disengage or we just didn't follow somehow. Not exactly sure what happened then. For demonic. Shut down. Okay, Syndra died. of them busy, but... Oh, hi. Oh, for fuck's sake, Varus. Yeah, I kept the the Riven and the Amumi occupied for quite some time for them to do whatever they wanted to do bot side. Is the Maya still ulti? Apparently not, otherwise you've already used it there, I think. I think they got it, didn't they? The Herald? The Scuttle, even? died in lane, like he walked into them and he was like, ah, oh, it was a bug. He's <laughs> died nine times now. Maybe it's nine bugs. We don't have Varus, my dude. I don't even want to go on to this one. There is no reason to go into this fight. Like, Varus is not even here. He is now, but like, there wasn't any point at the start of the fight. Just FF this game. I Carly wanted a TP behind. Where she did TP behind. But it was still gonna be a big fight ask.
Got demonic soon. in 12 seconds. I mean, if they can actually kill Jin here, that'd be huge. Their Sinal is kind of cringe. Probably trying to do work here, but yeah, she goes kind of right there. The Amumu crowd controls are really powerful. They got a lot of stuff. Like Akali's doing really well. But the enemy champions kits, they got so much stuff that can just hit stuff through Shroud. I can maybe try and defend. Terrible sacrifice that the Simi is making right now. So it means we can go look to do Baron. Oh, we have to do the Drake actually. We need to get there quick though. Passive pop. I'm gonna die here anyway. Unless I get a TP. Yeah. Right, at least they don't get Ocean Soul. Both supports dead. Um, I guess I could use some magic resist. Yeah, it's just so so hard for Akali. I mean, they've got Riven that can hit stuff through the Shrouds, Amumu, Zillion Bombs, and they got Syndra Keys and stuff. So, like, her, the fact that she's actually 13 4 is kind of insane, considering how hard it is for Akali to be, um, to do well in these fights. They're on Baron. Or not. Your inhibitor is respawning. Now, Jin started the hurt. She want to fight like this, so like Rengar isn't even anyone there.
mid and have respawned. Don't have a tar ahead, is literally just me and a kind. Did. Yeah, it's the nerve of saying support gap. It's fucking virus, dude. <sighs> How many bronze players does it take to screw in a light bulb? Who knows? They can't climb the ladder. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you for the 11 month 3 sub. And Guts, thank you for the 4 month 3 sub as well. Thank you, guys. Oh my god, dude. Getting flamed by this virus is just the cringiest thing in the world. Him and his bugs thing. What do they get? Anyone want to take a guess what it is? Oh, that's an emote. Draws. Something draws. Oh. Ugh. What's happened to his eyes? Why is TF eyes blue? TF eyes always like that? No, they're not. What? That emote is horrifying. Kinda, yeah. It's kinda weird. Is it because when he pops Destiny, does his eyes go blue? Thank you, Coffee. Thank you for the 23 month resub. <laughs> it is pretty hideous. But TF's eyes aren't blue. Oh my god, they are. What the fuck? Since when were they blue? And Wild Rift, they're not blue. <laughs> what? Why is his eyes blue? I swear in the cinematic and stuff, the, the bilge water stuff, I swear his eyes aren't blue. What happened, dude? Who gouged out his eyes? Not that blue? No, they are that blue, look. Uh... Look, the fuck? But in Wild Rift, they're normal. I don't get it. Told you? What, you're like three years old? <laughs> you got it wrong. I got it right. Arak, do you take support requests? Um, you can ask, but it would be a coincidence if I pick it. Um, hang on then, if you want to swap, fine. Play some Tarek. Uh, your request has been noted. Um, it will be in the works. Your order will be delivered between 1 and 50 years. <laughs> Ugh. Scam train. Thank you, Ethan. Chin support? Nah, I'll try it. I don't think it's great. Uh, Zach. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really want to play Janna. I don't want to play Janna. You are very welcome, Bizzle Lol. Lamau? 
Let's end the mimic game. I thought you'd never hit me. Uh, Nami's been nerfed now, yeah. It's the new patch. I did a game off stream this morning for YouTube as part of the Unranked to Diamond series. It is on YouTube right now, by the way. Um, but yeah. Oh, also, if you are looking to keep up with the Unranked to Diamond series, the thumbnail design is still going to be kind of like what it used to be in terms of like it doesn't look like it apart from the little number in the bottom Holy left hand corner. Boggy -woggies. Scamped when you woo Nyan. Do I have a command for which? Sorry. So yeah, I'm changing up the thumbnails to not stay on rank to diamond because the click rate is low because people don't want to like watch a series halfway through. But I'm not going to be putting like any other gameplay up there up onto YouTube for the next couple of months unless it is on rank to diamond. No, I don't have an unranked to diamond command. Maybe I should. Where are we going? Yeah, I'll try and sort something out for a link for the playlist if you want it. Doop 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 doop. It's been a little while since I played a Mimi. I think a Mimi is quite good into Zach though. Like if we can get in range to Q him or try and Q him mid air to mitigate that bit of damage. Yeah, this is the Diamond account we're on Diamond 2 right now. I don't play on the unranked Diamond account on stream. Well, on the Twitch stream, I was thinking about maybe doing a YouTube stream of the unranked Diamond stuff. That was easy. You got the kill. I knew you did. Had to use the health potion there, though. So does Zach, though, actually. Lucian also used exhaust. Uh, but Ezra did flash, though, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, good. Also, Zack Ezra is pretty bad combo. You kind of want someone a bit more aggro than that. You'd have to play Ezra pretty aggressive. I started on, t t well, 10, I don't know actually, what did I do first? My streaming and content creation path is so wiggly waggly that it, there isn't really a proper place that I ever started on my career. I guess things started taking off more when I did started doing streaming on, um, on a platform called owned.tv. But I ha had some very, very old YouTube videos. There were all the World of Warcraft videos actually on my YouTube channel. And um, I've also streamed on Xfire. It's a website called owned.tv, but they went bankrupt and now the website is owned by like people that sell. Like emotes and stuff for streamers. Okay, I'm in Narnia here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Griefing. Hard. But that Lucian dash was bigger grief. Stunned under the turret there, but gets the flash. Fuck! Alright, I need to concentrate a bit.
Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit not concentrating here now. Have to help push in this lane and I might try and look to roam or something. Go back and get some boots, I think. I'm also not gonna better room properly. Uh. They won't die, Lucian. Not unless he uses his dive stupidly. His dash. push. I'm assuming Victor has TP, yeah. Alright, we helped mid out quite a bit then. This game we might have to get like ninja tabbies. I mean Ezra hasn't got that many resources here. But I don't know how much this solution will follow me up if I do go in. That I'm not quite sure about. As there's no mana or Tawny's trying to push in a lane. After him. It's kind of annoying with the uh minion timing then. At least we made something happen. Let's 
that will probably end up forcing Zach to room now. Bramble this game, maybe. You get a tiny bit of XP for um, six. That might help us get first turret. Thing is, the illusion's still gonna be like pretty far behind, but that helps. So Shimi wasn't able to get that turret mid. Hey, Andrew. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Welcome to the Bravish. Um, it's a shame that the sin of year isn't. She's doing. It. She's ahead, but she's like dying a lot as well, though. We're gonna lose this bot turret, I think. It's a shame we weren't able to get mid turret. That would have helped a lot. Um, I'm trying to get an Ivy here. No, she's too slow. I mean, she is Nami still good for ranked. Uh, she's kind of struggling right now. Four mid. Yeah, the nerfs in laning phase. I did a game today already and it felt kind of rough, if I'm honest. No cute. So Kha'Zix is only level 7. Use it. Tom Kench died 1v1 top as well during that. Um Hey it's Joe. Thank you for the um 16 month three something. Thank you very much. How much do I spend on wards? I buy wards often. I try and buy a control, at least one control at every recall. As the game goes on, it's more and more important to have them. Oh, the Anivia bat! Fuck's sake, man. I don't even know why I bother. I really don't know why I bother. She gave no indication that she wanted a recall either. Fuck's sake. Okay. 
She didn't ping, she didn't say anything. Alright, I'm getting towed. Oh no, that Gale Force. I think Sona is a better pick than Nami right now, yes. Don't have all team. Hey Scrappy, how's the games? <laughs> Someone's at my door now. God damn it, man. The, the, the day is strolled. The, the day is strolled. Uh oh. Your team has destroyed a turret. <laughs> I haven't had that warning before, right? Fan, your team is AFK. Uh oh. I guess I just play like super, super, super passive. Quite strict on the AFK thing, then, aren't they? That was only like what two minutes, I felt like. We got both sides of this lane control ordered. She hasn't got anger. <laughs> Tom Kent just got this right. Are there any reason why Ez was pushing forward that much? Just because they had fear of DPing on the side. Oof. 
Uh, dragon in 15 seconds. It'll be their third drake if they get it. They probably will be able to get it. Although... No... Maybe we'll have Q again in a second. Nice Tom Kench player. And it stops them from getting third dragon as well. I just need to lock down this as as much as possible, I think. Or the victor if he's really badly positioned. Victor's generally doing quite a good job staying at like the very far back. But Ezra's generally out of position more often. Okay. Someone just took my berries. Harold just got popped bot. says you're dead. Exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, that is fucking cringe though. The entries. <laughs> Alright. Three for one, I think it's worth it. Wukong's gonna try and 50-50 it. Any of you can't get here in time. They need to kill Wukong. Okay, good. What's the easiest engaged support to learn? New to League two weeks so far? Um... The most, the easiest one to kind of wrap your head around would probably be Blitzcrank. Plus he's cheap on the blue essence as well. I'm having a day, aren't I? I'm having a day and a half. Uh, Blitzcrank's got like his grab as a main engage. He has a little speed up and then a knock up. Um, other easy engage supports to the cut could be, um, just trying to think, like, engage supports are generally the harder ones to play out of Mage and Enchanter and, yeah, Nautilus maybe, Nautilus, like, yeah, do a bit of practice on Blitzcrank and then maybe you can move into, like, Nautilus. Like, he's got a couple more things going. I was going to suggest Leona, but like I don't like the full on commit in for a new player. It's better, like, it's more obvious of a play when it's like the person is getting a squishy target has been hooked. 
to the team, if that makes sense. Nice wall. Yeah, Leon, Leona's kit is easy. It's just the fact that, like, going in to commit to plays is a different kind of thing entirely. I think, like, Blitzcrank and Nautilus are much more, like, newer player friendly. Yeah, don't do Thresh thing. Like, Blitzcrank Nautilus. Yeah, don't play Thresh if you're a new player. It's like one of the hardest supports you can play. Okay. Um, I actually don't know what to pick him. Um, let's just keep finishing off this form now then. Since I don't know what to do item wise. No, not Ralph. Ralph's too hard to play for our new This is we're talking about literally someone who started playing the game two weeks ago. Like I understand the Leona suggestion, but full on commit for a new player is a very difficult thing to do, honestly. I would say like it's a more once you've been playing the game for a couple of months, maybe like Leona could be a decent option. Once you like, understand like when to get kinda go in, maybe. Like but the thing is, the good thing is about Blitzcrank in particular, right, for a new player, is kit's super easy. You got a hook, you move a little bit faster, you got a knock-up thingy and an AUE ulti. Like, the, all of his kits, he's got one skill shot in his whole kit. It's, like, super, super simple, right? Can they kill the Bobby soon? Uh oh. Pike? No. Um, Pike also one of the hardest champions that you can play. It's literally um, Blitzcrank and Nautilus are the two easiest engages to play. If you don't like playing hook champions and you still want to play an engaged champion, then do Leona. Um, maybe a Mumu. Uh, a Mumu is also cheap on the blue essence cost as well. But on the whole, for a new support player, I generally wouldn't recommend playing a hard engage anyway. But if that's the pace start that you enjoy, then it's more important. Uh, I have played Nami. Laney phase, I definitely felt it.
Yeah, Alistair's kit's kind of basic, but maybe not new player friendly, maybe after a couple of months down the line. Did Thormel always track how much damage it dealt to champions? Keep an eye on that. Because I think they upped the Thormel damage this patch. Hey, Lolit. I don't want to like jump onto the Zac then and defend that ward. Like, we're not all properly in position. Kazix is stopping for some KFC right now <laughs> instead of pushing into their last turret. Oh no, now Tom Kench is locked out. Let's interrupt the Zac engage thing. Managed to stun the Wukong, but... Three bot duos. Top three bot duos. Not unleashing them anymore. Uh, well, I get punished by the way for being AFK for two minutes in that game. And no, I didn't get punished. Cool. Um. I mean, you want you want my top top three duos? Uh, okay, Samira Rel, uh, Draven Rel, uh, Draven Amumu. <laughs> it's it's like it's that would be like a super super high elo right? Like, if the players were perfect and it made zero mistakes, like, that would be the strongest thing you could probably play. Um, but, like, obviously suggesting that to you doesn't help because neither of you probably could play to that kind of level. Hence why you're probably asking. So it's just the more, like, just take whatever you're comfortable with and then try and match them up. So, like... Say if your AD carry partner likes playing poke champions like Caitlyn, try and complement that with something that like can help set up the poke or complements with the poke. So another poke champion basically. Like a Lux or I would say Morgana, but she's kind of bad right now. Um like a Zyra. Um a Nami. And Ash support would complement like a pokey AD carry. If you want a hard engage, like say if you got a Draven or a Samira, then or a Callista, then yeah, you want to play like Rel, Bitscrank, a Mumu, Zack support, hard engage stuff. If you've got someone that's playing a hyper carry like like Vayne or Cogmore, then you want to play lean more heavily towards like the Enchanters like Lulu and. Even stuff like Janna and, and Karma you could do as well. So just try and like match the synergy with the champion rather than playing mismatch. I don't 
name. Probably gonna get a hard engage enemy support now. Someone like an Ezreal. Ezreal, you have two options. You can match it with Poke, or you could take a roaming champion and just leave the Ezreal bot quite early on. Ezreal can do it okay under turret, under a lot of different circumstances. But Ezreal isn't that much different than like a Caitlyn, it's just that you don't have a trap. Ezreal's poke can be pretty good if the Ezreal's good, if he's landing his Qs. If you end up playing like Ezreal plus hard engage, like you need to play, take the hard engage to the other lanes, you need to basically roam. Bard, yeah. I used to do that a lot. Thrash Draven. Wait, why do I have an AP carry Victor? Or are they swapping? I'm very confused. Should I trust your AD carry? What, to 2v1? I mean, you can ask them to play safe. But you need to understand, like, if you're playing hard engage with an Ezreal, you're probably not going to be winning lane anytime soon, right? So then why wait for the other champions to... Why wait for your other lanes to probably in when you could go over to those lanes and make an impact? Because you're not going to be making an impact bot. Do I go Umbral as Ash support? I don't go... Well... I haven't bought Umbral for a while. It's not a bad item on Ash though. But I usually go Imperial Mandate into Mana Immune. Then third item you could do Umbral Glaive if you wanted to. But Or you could do like um, Mana Immune last and do Umbral Glaive first if you wanted to. You could do Umbral into Mandate into Mana Immune but you probably won't get all three items. Do mana buffs mean no more mana mean though? Um, like, you weren't really taking the mana immune for mana on Ash. It was give, making it so that you would actually do some form of damage, honestly. Like, without the mana immune, <laughs> you do like tickle me Elmo damage. Is my Tyrant good? I haven't played Tyrant for a little while. But yeah, Ash doesn't have like the worst mana issues, really. It's not like playing Sona. Hey, Felium. I might do a Senna game and try out playing Senna with the AD ch changes. How much crit is it for I to activate? It's 40%, isn't it? So you would only need 40 souls on Senna for I to work. If you just have IE. Because IE has 20% crit on anyway. No one fights alone in the mist. I don't think I've ever played with this gun before. But I got the prestige. Umbral isn't a bad item though, for Ash. So I think suggest so suggested items haven't been that bad. They have definitely improved. 
One thing I've been liking a lot though recently is like the suggested runes. The suggested runes have definitely been um more on point. Yeah, just mess up the summoners though sometimes. A Mumutsuva. So yeah, so now Sona struggles to, to hard engage, so this is going to be still a tricky lane. We shall see what we can do. What about the chemtech changes? Is it well, worth ever now? Well, it costs 200 gold less, right? I, and it's, it's cheaper by 200 gold. You got heal and shield power. You lose 20 AP, but like overall as an item, I think Chemtech is okay. It's not like shit tier, but it's like as an enchanter, we've got so many meh items now. It's kind of insane because it was usually just go like mythic into Chemtech, but now even that is just kind of like meh. Literally all the, apart from like the mythics, which are kind of like okay. I, after that, I, after that, literally the enchanter items are just kind of feel shit to buy. The best second I am now overall, I think, is probably redemption. But then it's like ardent senders like meh. My curls isn't bad under some situations. Staff of flowing water is meh. Chemtech is now kind of meh. So it's just, eh. it's just kind of there's nothing exciting as an enchanter really. And hey Yamra, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the berry bush. But there's nothing really like to get excited about playing enchanter supports right now. Like the item build paths are really kind of not fun. Which made me question like if anyone really plays enchanter supports at Riot because on the balance team because it's been like this for a long time and it's just slowly getting worse now. I honestly would love to see um, an Ardent Senza minor buff, or at the very least, a Staff of Flowing Water buff. I think I didn't know. I, I didn't get denied XP. I don't think I did, at least, anyway. Gotta be careful about a Mimikyu. So we'll try rushing IE. I don't know how that's how viable that's gonna be. Might be kinda cringe, but we'll give it a go. I'm not getting any like passive props off of these guys. There we go. Too deep. I mean, yeah, it was too deep. And then we red buff. Maybe no ignite though. It's harder to hold a hand than hold a gun. But yeah, I, 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 I kind of, I don't know. I don't know if it would ever happen, but I actually wanted like talk to someone on balance and right, right, like in a nice way, not in a 
toxic way like oh her duh what are you doing kind of thing and that you try and figure out like what is the the plan for enchants chances in the long run because right now it feels like they're the most played support in soda queue but it's like they really don't want to see it in pro playing for some reason Like, it feels like our class, our role is not represented on the world stage, like, properly at all. It's one of the most skewed roles, and it's been like that for ages. Riot Freak said they're going to be buffing engaged support item. Well, that's what I mean. Like, why not enchanters, man? Like, Enchanters really are just getting fucked. Especially when there's like an Enchant- the next champion to come out is an Enchanter support. I'm fucked, I think. I'm dead. Wait, well, <laughs> that was worth it. Uh, what was I gonna do? I eat first. No, you gotta aim. No. Just realized how much late game our team has got. It's kind of insane, actually. Thank God Silas roamed down from mid, otherwise I think both of those would have got away. That is right then. Well, technically, we've got enough crit for IE. Oh no. them. <laughs> Call of ambulance. But not for me. <laughs> I 
Everyone thought I was lost, but I was only changed. Nice. Am I insane for trying IE first on this? Am I crazy? Maybe do quick blades. Should we do quick blades? We're gonna do quick blades. Hey, Miss Waggy. Good afternoon. Trying to trick me with your Americanness. How's Senna feel? She's definitely on the weaker side. Well, I mean, I haven't tried her since this new AD patch. Death doesn't leave scars. The problem is, though, you say like Senna felt better playing in ARAM, but like ARAM is literally like the champions have individual they, they blah, blah 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 they individually balance champions in a room right like sona is like what 80 percent weaker or something on a ram than she is on summoner's rift because the heels are broken or something the mount Literal road cow. <laughs> Please, sir, may I have a soul? Random coffers there. I got the root. Nice, I've got quick bits. Stonks. An enemy has been slain. The only way out of the mist is through it. Now we go rapid fire. How do I link my crap? This is kind of busted actually. Look at my E cooldown going down. What the? F what the hell? Oh no shot dude. Coffer salty, coffer salty, coffer salty, coffer salty, coffer salty. Nice. Also picking up a soul seems to count towards the quick blades as well. What the hell? No, I just need more attack speed. Oh, 
I only just did my W and it's nearly off cooldown again. Now it's off cooldown again? What the fuck? <laughs> huh? What? That is nuts. Like, actually, legit no meme, we're gonna be entering into Morgana Perma Binding uh, Earth mode soon. What the hell? Because the route uh, will go down, will go, the route duration will go to two seconds at five points. Look, my W's gonna be up again. Like, okay, he died anyway, but like, it's already back up. Like any sort of like prolonged team fight, we're probably gonna get to do three or four W's in a team fight. But Essence Reaper work on Senna? Yeah, people have done that before. What does Navori do? Every time you auto attack, it reduces your QWE. But with remaining cooldown left. But you have to auto hit champions, or in this case, your souls. But it doesn't even have to be on champions. Just needs to be auto attacks anyway, doesn't it? Or is it more on champions? Wait, what? I swear it's not reducing it unless I'm attacking champions or my souls though. Like auto attacks anyway reduce my Q cooldown. Does IE stack with quick loads? That's no, locked. Is it why, why is it locked? That's annoying. Same passive? No, it's not. One's called impermanence, the other one's called perfection. Bit of a scam if, you t if you're asking me. <laughs> what do I want? Kraken. Get some crack with this build. Yeah, from like a new player standpoint, there's like no reason why you couldn't have an IE or an equip, but it's like the passives are different. It doesn't make any sense, to be honest. 
just one of one one of those Rito games things. Haha. <laughs> Zero clarity about pretty much everything. Feels kind of overextending here. Carthus wasn't around mid to prevent them from pushing out there actually. My runes are next to my poetry. So we its soul. Game to end. I want to get like nine 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 souls. I've seen too much of this, but I won't close my eyes. Yeah, all attacks are working. At least on the minions are working. Didn't look like it was working in turret though, but maybe I can quickly check. I throw out my W. Ten. Yeah, it doesn't work on turrets. Why doesn't Quick Blades work on turrets? What the fuck? Right, sort your game out. <sighs> Would have beat mid laner as a support. Such. Yeah, what? Why doesn't Quick Blades work on turrets? How? What? It worked on wards. It just didn't work on pirates. I was, that's why I was confused because I was like, "Wait, this isn't working on. Only works on champions." But no, it works on minions and stuff. It just doesn't work on pirates. It just doesn't work on structures at all. I don't get it. It's just a bug, I guess. I don't know if it was always like that or not because I never built quick blades on anything. Yeah. You know? Classic Rito. <laughs> More things for the spaghetti pot. If life is my curse, living is the cure. Might be intentional. Well, if it's intentional, it should say for all attacks. Asterisk. Apart from structures, lol. <laughs> Like a little bit more clarity. What is your problem? Why am I edging forward every auto attack to hit that ward? <laughs> Why is going on, man? 
legal bug. No. We're in thing. It's not working wards either, or is it not? So it doesn't work on wards or structures then. Maybe Trendimit ruined it. I mean, maybe, but it's, I don't know. He's kind of just stupid in that really. Only living things? What? How can you say that wards aren't living things, dude? They die over time and stuff. What's your problem? Apart from control wards, those things are something else. Hey, talking about souls, I've been playing a new game, not Dark Souls, but uh, it's called. Uh, I think it's called. What's it called? Is it called like Dark Cells or something? Or Lost Cells? I can't remember what it's called. Dead Cells? Advertises itself as like a 2D Dark Souls. It's actually kind of fun. Fun game. They're not garbage, we don't talk about that garbage game. I paid more of that garbage game by the way, and it starts being offensive to <laughs> even more than what it is already. It's kind of uh... Yeah, I cannot recommend that game. It was for some proper yikes. You ended up beating up like little kids as well, like in the play you go to one of the zones is playground and you as a as a homeless person you go to the playground and you have to uh basically kill some kids that have meth and you steal their meth. So Yeah. That's what I was up to yesterday. What yeah, I know right. I made a video about it on my secondary YouTube account. Like, is this the worst game on Steam? <laughs> so yeah, it was uh, it's like funny as in funny oh god like why the fuck is this in the game? <laughs> so yeah. Kind of game it is, the game is called Garbage, do not buy it, it is absolutely garbage, haha. <laughs> um, it's a game based on you are a homeless person that has a six pack. You work out, you get levels by doing weights and you get skill points to put in and you go around beating up other homeless people basically. It's like, it's, it's so fucked. It reminded me of that Dr. Phil episode where it was like a bunch of scum recording like would pay homeless people to like beat each other up that's what it kind of like felt like it was it was yeah it's a proper toxic game like it's not something that i would feel comfortable ow uh, streaming on Twitch and stuff. Nah, no, it's a different game, Sava. I don't know what that one is. This is for Elder Drake, and we're cocking this one out big time. It's Kafus has got ulti when he spawns, but that's their Elder Dragon. Alright, I'm gonna have to pay attention a little bit in the chat. There's a volley bear on our team. I didn't even fucking realize we have a volley bear? When? When did he enter the game? 
Huh? Oh, I think he did deal, yeah. I forgive. No one else has to. I need someone else to take this wave because getting Ridgy Soul right here. But he's thinking it's in gold, I guess. I kind of want to avoid team fights, so I might actually just look to split push. Nah, I can't. I can't have two people split pushing. Alright, we got the end here. Video record there. No, that connected. <sighs> Shit. Karthus is dead as well. He has to pop his ulti. I can't believe I got caught. I didn't think that would be in range. Otherwise, oh, yeah. Alright, good job, you. I can't believe that connected as well. Maybe I shouldn't be going. Maybe I should be going, um... What's it called? Uh, not Banshees, the other one. Mind going blank, Edge of Night. Your team has destroyed yeah, I might go Edge of Night. In, I managed to get two inhibs and a nexus turret off of the enemy team, but they also took our nexus turret and an inhib. Okay. I thought we could fight that, but Karthus literally did a U-turn. My bad. Yeah, I'm playing this late game badly. Inting Volleyball. Such a night. No, I'm not. <laughs> Can't afford it. But I, I did the math, but I didn't. Part of me keeps wondering when I'll run into the lantern's walls. Okay. What's that?
fucking range, dude. What? <laughs> Boop. I don't know what Carly was doing there. She just sped right now. Well, we were doing alright until so we weren't doing alright. I think partially my fault for not. Maybe a bit too chill. It's a lot of blue. Yeah, we blew ourselves. Look at the in sync in color of our splash art, it's very cool. Well, it determines the LP that you get after a match. It's like the game, once your rating is evened out to where it should be, you should be losing around about 16 LP and gaining 16 LP. Unless, like, the hidden rating, say it took you an hour to get into game because literally no one was playing. Um, then it could be greater or lower than that based on, like, how your team's rating versus the enemy team's rating. Like, hidden, hidden ratings that you can't see. Each player has a hidden number, which we can't see because of reasons. Out of curiosity, do you feel that there is a support that could hypothetically, this is some big words, man, be played every single match and work well sooner? Sooner in theory could do well with pretty much every AD carry in the game. It's just generic enough to... Like, Nami is also potentially in that same boat as well, actually. Like, you could do hard engage AD carry with an enchanter support, but it's like, it's not great, but it's not terrible depending on, like, how it's played. Well, start season 2023. I haven't started already. Let's go. Don't look at my gin and Ezra win rate. <laughs> Whoa. You belong in a museum. Got 100% on mid. Very strong. Rex for playing Neyman against Asona? Laning against Asona? Uh, Asona's the weakest to hard engaged champions. She actually does quite well into enchanters. Anything that doesn't like put her under too much pressure in lane is really good for Sona. I used to pick Sona into Yumi. For that like reason. How's new patch feeling? It's alright, I guess. I don't know. Unless you enjoy playing support. <laughs> it's fine if you're not support, it's fine. It's so lucky. Whatever, we have some fun. It's funny, has someone telling me that Song was the worst champion in the game? Why play Song when Seraphine exists? I don't get it. 
did you do a typo in the in the in the thing for Sona or did they call Sona song? Did they call Sona song? <laughs> uh, it was a typo that you made. Okay. Uh, yeah, Sona's better than Seraphine. Just the fact that Seraphine constantly goes around going, Oh yeah! Fucking... Put me to sleep. Thoughts on RV into Archangels on Karma support? Radiant Virtue? I've not done Radiant Virtue on Karma. What does RV stand for if you're American? Recreational Vehicle? I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing meth in an RV with Karma. Not something... Don't get your ideas from Breaking Bad chat. I could do better. But yeah, I've heard a couple of people talk about Radiant Virtue Karma. I haven't tried it myself. I would, I don't know. I feel like Shooters is too good. Stop wanting to swap with me. Fine. On one arrow. You like Seraphine AP carry? <laughs> Alright, mods, can you stuff Shadow in the cupboard with all the other Seraphine mains, please? Might be getting a bit cramped in there, but like if you use a broom and just. Just shove her in. <laughs> what they need to do, right? is they need to put the Seraphine mains in a cupboard with the Skarna mains and just let them have at it. That would be kind of content. You like Seraphine? You like the genocidal Seraphine? Pog. Pog. You like Seraphine because I like pink? Her hair isn't actually pink, did you know that? She's got brown hair. Her natural hair colour is brown. They showed it in the, the Rune Terror images. She's fake pink. Mm-hmm. It's got to be pink in a Sona skin. Um, probably one of, one of the Kramers. You could probably get a Psyops pink skin, probably. Is that Rift Riot Royals winning Bizzle Ash AD carry? No. Rift Rivals. Well, I think it did I do Ash. No, I didn't. I did not. No, I did AP carry Vagar. That's the one that won me Twitch Rivals. <laughs> Once upon a time. It's kind of funny how like Twitch has now given up doing events for um, League of Legends only. because or For EU at least anyway, because of how toxic it gets. And it's just the same people that win it over and over again. <laughs> 
We need a full guys version of League of Legends. That's what we need. We need a bobblehead Trindimir trying to make it across an obstacle course without falling in the goo. The goo being Zach? Yeah, it could be, actually. It could be kind of five head. I think Bizzle should run a viewer Twitch Rivals and race to share out of everyone. Dude, literally no one would want to watch that because you guys would be so shit. <laughs> you guys would be worse than that Twitch channel that literally just showcases iron streams. It would be five iron to bronze uh, support players on each team, man. Together we are strong. Together we are. Yeah, it'd be worse than salty team, man. It would be a game where people, instead of buying items, people like in the solo lanes would actually be buying control wards. How? No one wants to watch that. There'd be like 10 control wars on the map all, all the time. Who wants to watch that? When I say Avarosa, I hear my mother and her dreams. Fuck. SQ maybe? Why did Ez ping me? Because I got caught in the tri brush walking into them. That's not in the bush. Show them the power of an ice born. Never fall. Very bush, very bush, very bush, very bush, very bush, very bush. I mean, Triss doesn't have jump. This isn't a great timing here though with the minion wave. Hmm. Well, she's kind of awkward. I guess I just die here, right? Oh, the level up! Oh my god, Mom, get the camera! The Hawk shot giving vision. Actually, kind of giga cringe. Anyone had a look at Forspoken? I popped into Lyric stream to watch him play Forspoken. Um, I watched about one minute and I was like, yeah, nah, this game looks shit. The The character had, was eating an apple, but the, the size of the apple was the size of her head. It was really fucking, it was just kind of just giga cringe straight away. <laughs> I'm not even joking, this apple was... It's like this. It was huge. And she was just like holding it in one hand going. Hmm. Delicious. This is normal. Eating a watermelon sized apple. Is <laughs> the apple huge or is her head small? Yes. Isn't this song used in like memes on TikTok? I dream of a 
feel like I recognize it. Yes? Okay. This is all I'm talking talk Nah, it's just... It's just quite an old meme though, isn't it? I only sometimes... I used to like watch a little bit of TikTok when I was trying to do TikTok on for myself, but I didn't bother anyone. Um, but the only TikToks that I see are through uh, Reddit. It's not that many. It's like in like the unexpected kind of subreddit sometimes, it's some like TikToks though. To see the Wednesday dance? No, I haven't seen it. I've never been into Adam's family stuff, so I've I've heard that it's good, but I haven't watched it. I saw a funny thing where a guy was like posting, oh, me and my friends, like the Instagram has changed into porn. Our featured feeds are like literally just all hot, like naked people, basically. No fate is written, except by and it's like, if we do in the comments, yeah, it's because you, uh, you look at those things a lot. <laughs> That's why it's recommending it to you. My feeds are normal. My feeds are about cats and flowers and stuff. Sus I know, right? Who flashes and then fists? Things that you can't say in real life. <laughs> I promise, police officer, I was talking about League of Legends. Like, Triss could just jump me here. I need to be kind of careful. You choked on your apple? How big was this apple? <laughs> Wait, if it's big enough, like in that game, it shouldn't be that bad. You shouldn't even be able to put it in your mouth. I can get an assist on this. Oh shit on it. Wait, I'm alive? The oh, fuck? Okay. Can I get some Lamals in the chat? What the? 69. Thank you, Stacy. Appreciate you. <laughs> How am I not dead? I'm literally 007 now. Did Ash get a health buff? No, I think it was just mana, wasn't it? The mana regen buff, I think. Mm, 
kind of want to area that. Okay. It will hit something, right? Oh my god. It did? <laughs> it cast it? As he rift walked into it? You kidding me, dude? Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Still got the assist. Oh no, I'm dead, dude. Got nothing to do here. I died. Uh. Hey Zell. Nice to see you back to VK. Yeah, we've been playing League for a few weeks now, I think. Up there. My people know only cold Wait, what? Hardship. I will AP Vi, is she toad? Does Vi have AP scanning? She probably has some AP scannings, but I think she's just inting now. Yeah, she's just inting. She had a bad day. She ran it down a league. She got placed in bronze and she's blaming her team. I've seen the new Valentine skins, Bizzle. Is it Nuda? Please tell me it's Nuda. What do you think of Halo Blades Ash? I've not tried it. I was aiming for Cassidy. <sighs> Have I missed an arrow this game? I think every arrow I find has hit something. What the fuck is your problem? I think the vine might be anything. I need more information though to find out. Was 
What skin is this? Uh, Ocean Song. What the fuck is going on this game, dude? How am I not... How are these arrows landing, though? What? What? Am I Robin Hood? <laughs> British Sniper! But will. No, don't do it, Vine. It's not gonna hit. It's the first arrow missed. No, report me. Yeah, we need to report the lion. But they were pretty mad. I mean, I'd be sorry as well. I survived bot lane low HP way too many times. It was very illegal. Nice. Yeah, the vine needs a little bit of uh, suspension to cool down, I think. Lich being the uh, vine is not it, my dude. What should I do about dinner tonight? I think today we're doing one takeaway a week and today is takeaway day, I am, I believe. My wife just texted me saying curry tonight. I think we're getting a curry. It's marginally more healthy than pizza, right? You had five guys last week and it was divine. Or is it you and your boyfriend? Plus um four. <laughs> Uh, good one, Bizzle. That joke's never been made before. I could do better. Isn't Char getting married? No, she is married. To a country. It's crazy. Which country? She doesn't even know what country she's married to. Caitlyn, but I don't want to do Nami. Wait, won't they swap the way? Right, do Sona then. I haven't done a Sona game yet. Yeah, the guy came in asking um, in chat for a woman. So then I um, I said that they could have Char. And then he, he declared that he is a country. And then that he's also going to marry Char. And we haven't seen the country since. Mm-hmm. 
It's kind of funny that we got content out of that because I would have just permabanned him. <laughs> we got a good meme. I mean, you kind of just offered Char up. I mean, she had nothing better to do anyway, right? It's not like she's uh, she's hooked up anyway. Right? Just get married to her in the entire country. It seems like a good trade. I think from what she's got in the current life. Wasn't there a natural couple that comes from my chat? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there have been two couples that have been made in my chat. Um, one pair that I'm properly aware of is my mods that I met when I went to TwitchCon. Well, my old mods I met at TwitchCon last year. Era and Nerdy. They met via my stream. Nerdy was a mod. She was using her um, mod privilege to find boyfriends. But I think there's been a couple of other hookups from the Twitch chat since I've been streaming. So yeah. You thought people got married because of tax? Uh, yeah. I mean, some people do, right? Some people marry because of visas and stuff as well. Am I Cupid? Am I a, am I a naked baby flying around? I mean, I can do the flying around bit. We, um, but no, I'm not Cupid name. <laughs> Have I heard from Fairy and Pickle? Mm, don't hear from them often. I don't know if they met via my stream or not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what their back back streets lore is. Current mod meets Bizzle's ex mod next weekend. Wow. Where are you going to? Is she coming to? Is Nadi coming to London? Which arrangement suits the mood? Is there something going on in London? That uh, like a convention or something? Not going to Brom. <laughs> Did you see my my uh, tweet? Um, number one, the best ranked restaurant in Birmingham is a Shell Garage. The tempo changes, and so do we. Classic. MF is running cleanse for some reason. I'm a little bit wary about Ivan ganking bot earlier. It's not out of the realm of possibility. trade mid, but we didn't get the first bud. You can cleanse Lee and all. Yeah, it's just a stun. The only things you can't cleanse is like uh, suppressions. So, like Mauser Heart Ulti, you can't cleanse that. But you can quick silver sash out of it. You can also quick silver sash out of the um, 
Oh, got ulti and Mordecai's ulti. Knockups. I'm not fully sure about the interaction between cleanse and knockups. Oh, Ivan is here. Oh, because. I think there are some uses of cleanse in a knockup in order to be able to then flash or something. I don't quite understand it though, it's like very high mechanical thingies. I might be wrong about that now, I don't know if it's been changed or whatever, but I think there was something to do with like being able to like briefly stop the knock up in order to then be able to flash or something. It was something weird. I can't remember what it was. Maya Kyle's does not work on Mal's hold. He is the cleanse. That is fake news. You can heal the person because my Kyle's does a heal. But it won't get rid of the Mal's team. It's only quick silver slash. Yeah. Or a spell shield already active. That's the only way to block it. And oranges. GP oranges. God damn it, man. Caitlyn, why are you doing this to me, my dude? Caitlyn's playing mega to it. I don't know what she's trying to do, to be honest. It's eight, eight to one. I don't doesn't look great, does it? This might not be the dub. It's just a game they're guaranteed to lose. It's just one of those ones. So in a two weeks pre six, um, we were fine until we lost the three v three. But Caitlyn there was positioning pretty badly. She she could have done more there. She could have put a trap in between herself and uh, Leona to try and extend the distance. Or make it more awkward for Leona. I don't know. She's just playing tilted right now. Like that's when she misses an E and we need to go in to, to trade a little bit. Like it wouldn't be a massive trade, but it would be better than nothing. What about Varus? I don't even read in chat. Everyone loves a show. 
MF has cleanse. Um, but we can interrupt the chain from the Yuna, the chain CC. A Nick Knight sick there at the end. Must have been a Nick Knight sick. Shouldn't have flashed. It wasn't bad for us though, though. to one to nine to four plus I think we've got more plates in them now with the Herald and we did get dragon as well nice we did get a first turret that kind of put off the unit from ganking veracity right now. I can't do anything else to protect mid right now. Right now, right now, right now. Why go in, dude? This is madness. I didn't have all two. I don't know why he's going into that. You know, this, the Ivan's there. Oh no. Jarvan's having a game and a half. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Uh, what am I watching, dude? What is this damage, though? I needed that for my mental. Holy crap. Jarvan's getting beaten up by Daisy. Nice, can we? Yes. Oh, it's a fucking set. I couldn't even tell what that was. I 
I don't have any wards left. I need. Oh my god. Uh... What the hell? They're literally just giving us kills. What is going on? 69 stacks. What the hell was that? They literally just went in one by one. I don't know what just happened, honestly. Uh, we do Archangels next. Imagine going Chemtech, right? <laughs> oh, I'm chilling out, my dude. I am so confused. But Silas threw himself in and missed everything. What are they doing? Shame looks like no Baron up or something. What is going on? We were eight kills to one. Hey, Ty Specs. Thank you for coming over to the live stream. I'm like, glad you enjoyed the YouTube videos. Much appreciated. I have, honestly, I'm kind of flabbergasted. Is that the right word? I am flabbered about how much the enemy team was speedrunning it. Only 1,700 gold to go. I should have taken the portal. Oops. I can't defend this. I'm scared that the owner off, maybe. I've got ulti and four. We take it. Misfortune flash. She ulted. MF ulted. Like literally frame perfect. MF all interrupt. The only reason why I could tell is because MF went. <laughs> Cringe or laugh. I uh, don't take the inhib. It's pre 20 minutes, guys. Don't take the inhib because they could farm super creeps mid. This 
still need Baron. It's a track and an 18. Take this dragon. I can't believe we were eight kills to one. How? A hundred stacks, twenty to go. So we need 800 gold for um, Archangels. Leonis here. Need to be a little bit careful. Yeah, fuck. Hmm. <laughs> I need to be fucking careful, lads. They're after me. Assassin, the uh, Sona coming in. We've actually started the uh, the Herald. You guys know this. I don't like this positioning. Not gonna get anything there. I am so screwed out. Yeah, the strongest is set, but they were all staggered around. I could only get a one man ulti. I don't like that we started the Baron though. Just kind of yellowed it. I mean, even this is still kind of yellow. If Ivan doesn't die here, this Baron is getting really low. Okay. Alright, we got it. That must be Trina's Soul Voice. So, uh, tr Sona's True Voice? Yes, it is. She smoked too many cigarettes. That's why she can't talk anymore. She's lost. She completely wrecked her vocal cords. <clears throat> hey, Tycho, how you doing? They are flashing away from me, man. That's good. Hey, Ray, how you doing? Oh, no. Cut that. So yeah, I baited that in. I made my all miss intentionally so that the Silas would go onto me and then die. That's you learning. You learning this top tier support mechanical outplay? Five head thinking. So you guys just wouldn't understand because, uh, you know, just built different. You say Senna's in a good state right now? Yeah, she's absolutely fine.
Okay. I didn't really do much then. You know what made us win this game is when I BM'd killed the uh, the MF. She didn't actually mentally recover. When I killed her, she was 5-0 and then she went 5-7. She didn't mentally recover from the devastating death by Sona with the little bard trumpet. Big plays. Nice. Nice. Double report. I had three. So many of my reports are resulting in people getting like chat restricted and stuff. Like when I logged into this account this morning, I had three of those messages back to back. Report virus, please. Okay. Might as well only give me plus 15 because I'm sure the game will add. Uh... Hey, pirate. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22 0. <laughs> that sounds annoying, but thank you, pirate. Thank you for the 22 0 months. Much appreciated. Alright, what champion are we playing next? Oh, I need to give out some codes, by the way. I've only got a couple of weeks to give these away, or like one week to give these away, and I've got like 35 codes to give out for Gal uh, for Gragas, not Gally, for Gragas and uh, Zillion. Not your PC. I'll do like a Nightbot giveaway to make it a bit more fair rather than just dropping them in the chat like last time. I'll put some in Discord as well. In, well, not now, but over the next few days. Can people just type hi in the chat just to make sure that Nightbot's working? Otherwise, I'll have to... Um... Sort out. Okay, it's not working. Hold on. Type hello in the chat and see if Nightbot's working. Pike. I'm feeling ballsy. It's not working, Storm. Hold on. Um. Is Nightbot even in the channel? Nightbot's not even here.
type oi in the chat. I think it's working though, actually. All right, if you guys want a chance at winning a Space Groove Gragas skin code, whoa, can be used on any region. Uh, type, um, hold on, type dumpy truck booty, <laughs> one word for a chance to win, there you go, I typed in the chat for you. Right, I'll probably give away like five, just do them like super fast. If you win, say like hi in the chat, so I can click on your name and just give them out. Uh, Max, do we have a Max in the chat? Any Maxes? Hi, yeah, there you go. Sent it to you via Twitch DM. Uh, Ellie is working. I highly doubt it. You're on Twitch. Can you say hi in the chat so I can just give it to you? There you go. Uh, what the fuck? How is Nightbot one? What? What the fuck? <laughs> huh? A Nightbot gets a Gragas skin, amazing. Ivy, CX. Apparently it didn't matter about the keyword, apparently. I don't know what the hell is going on, dude. Alright. I have to play game now. I'll give up more later. That was kind of cast. All non subs, yeah. I guess all the non subs won codes. It pays not to pay. <laughs> uh, space groove craggers. Can I get your money back? Oh, hold on. Yeah, sure, hold on. Let me just um, get hired by Twitch and then work for the uh, subscription department. Just give me a few years to work on that and I'll refund your sub. I just realized how shockingly bad. We got three AD carries on our team. No tank. Basically no crowd control. Enemy team has a Draven and a Pike. Oh, this should be a fun one. A wrong note is just a happy little accident. This should be easy, right? Surprise Pike didn't go, um, Oracles. Yeah. I think I'm dead still, right? Yeah. <sighs> My bad. I shouldn't be getting caught out on an easy double two like that, to be honest. Fuck. Nice like train. 
We gotta keep this wave here now though. We can't let it reset. Nice. Yeah, they're pretty low actually. Nice! Good job, dude. And she pogs out. It's a shame she wasn't able to kill Pike there, though. Huge interrupt. Take the execute. That's a dub. That was good. Hmm. Which arrangement suits the most? Staying with the Zaya here so she can get into lane a bit quicker. I tried Rod of Ages Sona. No, I'm not. Cringe. <laughs> I'm not that cringe. I think I'm in trouble. Hmm. Time unveiled. I thought we had one. I thought we had more for, um, for that since Talon was there and Sejuani wasn't there. But I guess not. No comment. Right. for that control advent. It's not a lot we can do here. Lane's kind of frozen. Pike's now level 6. Thank you. 
Um. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we were further behind last game. And we still won that, so... See how it goes. right now. Wait for CDR boots so here. I'm gonna need the extra movement speed. The difference between this game and last game is that we were at least taking uh, neutral objectives. We're not even getting those this game. Feels bad. Surprised he uh, eats straight away. Let's have a look -see, we? I think if that ult lands, Again. if Sai is quick, she can root the pike there and it should be a kill. Draven doesn't have heal for the pike, so yeah, I think that would have been enough. Never it's a shame. Shintana got both of the kills. You're doing fine. I mean, that was nice. 
just would have been nicer if um If Zai got one of those. No Umbral Glaive yet on Pike. Such doesn't have all team. And then is pretty fed. Jesus Christ. Or to cast it in against a 1 6 Tristana. Not sure how exactly Tristana get loses that lane that hard. Would have thought a ranged physical damage would have done decently into a cast in, especially pre level 6. Going top side. I mean, different streaming communities. Some also into Apex. Wait, what? Most have So, is that question that I missed? Thank you guys for helping that client. I don't know what the initial question was then. If there's something that can help with, feel free to ask again and I'll try and add my input. So I can't get more notice. Uh, just have them. Okay. Uh, the main thing is being consistent with your streams, streaming at the same time, times, and days. Uh, and then the other thing is to try and advertise yourself other than on um. System. Um, yeah, I think I could have done better there. I've kind of messed up my power cord spell on Cassidy. Feel everything. 
so that in your case it might be like making YouTube videos, doing TikToks and stuff. Like the only reason why my stream even got going in the first place is because of YouTube videos plus mobile fire guides. <clears throat> if I was to join, like if I was to build up more of what I was doing, then I would do like more TikToks. It'd be like the thing is, right? Being a streamer isn't like it's not being a streamer, especially these days. It's about doing all the non-streaming stuff. Is is more important, honestly, than actual streaming itself. Like, you have to learn to becoming into an actual, like, proper everything content creator. Could mean paying someone to do video editing for you, could mean doing it yourself. Um... I don't know. It's, um... It's tough. Like, if I, if I had the motivation to, I'd be, like, doing a TikTok video every single day about League or something. Um, but I'm not good enough for that kind of stuff to do it. Be yeah, TikTok, Instagram, etc. I think they said something, Twitch said something recently saying that they're going to like improve discoverability even more on the platform, but it's still pretty difficult. support streamers are hard to find. Mm, there's a lot of support streamers. They're just they're not they're the least popular kind of streamer on Twitch. Most support streamers are um like there are a lot of them. They're just below a hundred view count. The most popular support streamers are X Pros. And then it's like educational stuff. My name gets thrown around like quite often, which is nice, but it's like even like a lot of people know that I provide support educational content and I get like recommended on Reddit and stuff like that. Even like with all of that, I'm still like on the lower end. Like the the ceiling, I feel like I've already like kind of hit the ceiling for what I can do. Do you know what I mean? Without being like giga cringe and shouting every time, I, I could probably do that. Um, okay. Like, there are a couple of, like, edgy support streamers that do okay. Um, but most, I'd say the majority of support streamers are women and, like, relatively chill content. Like, it's against the grain 
on Twitch. Like the the Twitch viewer meta is um, white male playing something a bit more flashy, like mid or jungle. Yeah, GG. I mean, you could tell by the team composition at the start of the game is going to be crap, but I played any phase bad. Kindred at the end just flashed and altered in base. It's kind of cringe. I think we actually had a way mid game to get back into this. They were making a lot of mistakes. Hey Zary, thank you for the prime set. Welcome to the berry bush. Yeah, it was Kindred top, Tristan in mid. We had three AD carries this game. What the fuck? Cool of that. That has already been posted now, isn't it? So it doesn't matter. I'll play any stage one. Some just the ones. Triple I can't personally vouch for a lot of those people that you just mentioned because I've not seen any of their content, but I think some of those people are ex-pros, I think. I die. Um, yeah, it's game over. We had to fight for that because that was Sol, so... GG. I mean, my team is not playing anyway. We don't have a top laner. A top laner is done. You're done. Yeah, I don't know. As I said, my laning phase is kind of trash. Kai in the garbage. Another one. Another one. Six people today. Cleaning up the rift. Sorry, nothing can talk me. I've got Kari later. Ugh. kind of curry um we order so we get a rice to share and then it's um we share a chicken tikka masala and a chicken korma and we get some onion bhajis uh, two garlic naans some poppadoms and some mango chutney to go with it we got my son um some chicken tikka like without the sauce and uh, he quite liked it, so he prob my son will probably have some chicken tikka with some popper doms and stuff.
But I have like we, we share like half each a korma and a masala, a tikka masala. It's um really nice. Talking about restaurants, I saw a um a restaurant on Reddit that had a zero hygiene rating. Like, how does that even happen? You just shit on the the, the counters. <laughs> Is an actual zero. Hey, Malia, thank you for the eight month primary stuff. Thank you very much. Like, does it have like they put rats in the food? I don't even understand. How do you get a zero? Like, why isn't it closed down? If a, if a restaurant hits a zero, surely it should be like closed, right? I've never been to a Nando's ghost story time when I met my wife right I still had never been to a Nando's um, but she had food poisoning from Nando's twice and then she was like oh we can't go to Nando's because I go I, I'm worried that I can get food poisoning again I was like oh, okay that's that's fine I can, whatever no cheeky Nando's for me and then it was only like, I can't even remember, it wasn't even that long ago, like six months ago, my wife goes, she went out with some friends and she was like, oh yeah, we went to Nando's and it's like, you went to Nando's? You said we weren't allowed to go to Nando's and she was like, oh yeah, it's fine. It's like, well, <laughs> I still haven't been to Nando's, dude. We've been married for like, what, 12 years or something? I still not been to Nando's. How'd she feel after that though? I don't know. Maybe she got food poisoning but kept it a secret or something. But yeah, I don't know. I thought that was pretty toxic. Don't you think that's kind of toxic? Banning a restaurant saying we're not allowed to go there. And then just like, then just going. Many years later. I felt deprived. I thought it was a little toxic. Like... Divorce? I mean... If we were both teenagers, then yeah, it would be grounds for breaking up, wouldn't it? Oh my god, can you believe it? She went to Nando's without me? What? A slack? It's our teenagers talk, isn't it? It's been a minute. I have been watching after streams ended and have been loving the Sona games. Hey, bye. Thank you for the 15 month three sub. Yeah, you just missed two Sona games. Oh no, didn't lose Nami when they've both been nerfed. This should be interesting. I don't even know what the Lucian Nurse even were. I was too traumatized by reading the Nami stuff and the item changes. <sighs> what was the Lucian changes? Lucian 20, 30 less base mana, less, uh, no, mana growth went up though. Base mana regeneration. Oh, he didn't really get that nerfed. Nah, it's not really nerfed. He's not really nerfed that much, right, really. Lucian's damage is unchecked, so... It's just the Nami got nerfed. I saw a meme of the Gen Z translation of the Harry Potter books last night, and I've been giggling ever since. What, are you, like, 12? <laughs> a Gen Z? What is they like, what they just took the book and then just converted it into naughties memes or something? How would you even understand it though? Surely you would have to be a Gen Z to understand the memes, right?
You mean frothing at the mouth? Like, don't talk to me about nurse. I mean, I... I think, I mentioned this at the start of the stream, I think freak is logic, I understand it, but it's a very toxic mindset to have, like, so I don't care about the Yumi nurse, so, like, this is coming from a perspective, like, she was annoying to play against, she probably needed nothing, but I didn't like the justification for it. The justification freak made was that she's too easy to play and new player friendly, therefore, she shouldn't be allowed to be played in in, in esports. Like the fact. At least that's what I got the. Uh, that's what how I took it from what he was talking about. To be honest, he was saying like oh, her base stats are too high and stuff like that. But like one of the big reasons was just like you know it's not good enough in esports. The primary reason why she was nerfed is because they're sick of seeing Yumi in esports. Like that was the number one. So that was the number one thing on the list was make Yumi unplayable so that she's not played in uh in high yellow in uh worlds and stuff. That's the literal the reason why she got giga nerfed. But I don't like the just what he was like justifying it saying, yeah, a champion this easy shouldn't be allowed to basically play in esports. And it's just like, well, you, you see Garen and stuff, surely, right? And, you know, Set gets played as well. He was he was saying, like, you know, other easy champions like Garen and Set. I'm pretty sure Set gets played in, um, in pro play. Or has had play. So, I don't know. It's a weird justification saying, like, oh, because the champion's easy. It shouldn't be a bit, like, high ear, though. It's kind of weird. Bit of a weird take. But they definitely needed to do something to her because she was too strong. But I, I, he, he, he didn't, he shouldn't have mentioned that to be honest. Because I felt like that made it more toxic. Like, did she need nothing? Yes. Because it's new player. I mean, also, the other weird thing was just like, oh yeah, it's like new player friendly. Why the fuck is it 6,300 blue essence then? If Yumi was actually designed as a new player friendly champion, then why is it not? Why is it like one, what not? Why is it like maximum 1,000 something blue essence? How are new players meant to afford to buy Yumi without using their credit card? Didn't they say they're addressing the pricing? Well, yeah, I think they they wouldn't have done they wouldn't have addressed. Okay. I don't think they would have said that if it wasn't for Freak's thing saying, "Oh yeah, it's a new player champion." Like guarantee it. If Freak didn't say that, I don't think they would have changed the price on Yumi. Or look to. You. And fuck. Crash is dead there. Oh my god, the turret damage. I still hear the song of the sea. Think Nini flashed. Isn't she too new to qualify for a price reduction? It's not the point. Like if they're making a If they're making a champion a new champion right, it, and, and meant to be for new players, why on earth would you have it pri priced at maximum? And also, I would disagree even saying that a new player should even be playing Yumi, to be honest. I don't think it's, um... I don't even think that may I don't know. Because of the price point, I wouldn't be surprised that, like, a lot of newer players... Um... 
didn't even play Yumi anyway, right? Like, I've never recommended anyone play Yumi if they're a new player. Like, if you're a new player, plan support. I would recommend, like, Janna. Or Sona. Also, Jenna is like, what, 400 Blue Essence or something? <laughs> yeah. I'm worried about Nunu. We've got Fiddlesticks top and then uh, so it's like, okay, Nunu's mid. <laughs> Nunu dead. Oh god, summon ban Nightbot, please. Are there any mods that can ban? We can't. What do you mean you can't? What the fuck? Only you can? Oh, because it's a mod? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Thanks for trying, guys. Solo kill. I swear I have AD carry. I promise. I guess. Not bad, huh? I don't actually go into melee range at the moment, dude. Ezreal's like, can I get it? Uh, eh. Why didn't Ez auto? Because he panicked.
Looks like we're getting a free game. I think Nunu Bot is probably the best Nunu skin in the game though, isn't it? What is that shield? No shot dude, he killed Thrash. And you, I played like 10 games Nami Lucian a season. You the first good Nami slash Lucian. Thank you. You got Prime. <laughs> it did, got any of that Prime. Prime, please man, just one. Question hmm? mark. Such. He doesn't even know what Prime is, dude. Yeah. Please, please, but dude, I, I need my fix. My Just one, one little Prime. Don't do Twitch Prime chat. The turn out like me. Thank you, Mance. Thank you for uh, supplying. I'm a little disturbed. I mean, I would be if I were you, to be honest. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh my god, it's wait what? I like. Wait. Okay. trying to grab my water. How did Thresh not get bubbled though? Oh, double bubble? Tim? Tim? Doop. I had Thresh walk through the bubble. Shield time? Oh my god, it's a big shield. This mod is uh, a raid boss. Twenty-five 
24 stacks on fiddlesticks. Wait, there's a Tide Pod Ward? I need to check to see if I've got that. Oh my god. Go for it. I, uh, I intended it to miss that bubble. That advert was rather rude, weaving itself in during the few minutes this wasn't active. Oh no, I'm sorry, Sensui. Mm. Apparently, Twitch are um, going to be implementing less evasive adverts, I think. But I feel like they've been saying that for years. Instead of ads coming up on your screen, you're going to get a knock at your front door. And they're going to keep ringing your doorbell until you answer, and that's how they're going to give you the, uh, the advert. You don't get this new react thing? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean react thing? You mean people watching YouTube videos and reacting to them? It's been going on for years. We can react to your stream and tell you sections are good. Oh, I, uh, I did that to... I can't remember whose stream it was. I think it was Bringding's stream I popped into the other day and I put a random heart react. And then I, I don't even know what that stuff is. I don't even know how to even look at it on my own channel. Five minutes per react. That sounds, I don't know. That sounds pretty cringe. You give me a, a react? Wow. Thank you for reacting to my stream. Don't even see it. It's because you're not human. Only humans can react. Everyone knows if you're a bot, you have no feelings. <laughs> I gave you an oh no react. Oh wow, thanks, buddy. get me out of the range but it made it worse I should have flashed the side it was at that moment I realized <laughs> I fucked up but yeah, I'm surprised the enemy team hasn't surrendered yet there it's been a bit of a stomp isn't it at least we got back LP from the uh, Arkindred running it down top laner so that's that's noise, I guess. Uh oh. <laughs> the BM TP on the spot, fantastic. GG.
Hey Shadow, that's very kind of you. Welcome to the Berry Bush Tide Caller. Shadow Vixen91 gifted a tier 1 sub to Tide Caller Faye. They have given 3 gift subs in the channel. Yeah, I saw Pen Ping. I saw the uh, the screenshot they sent me. It's, it's pretty cringe. Chapter one: The boy who wasn't unalived. Mister and Mrs. Is it Dursley? I don't even know who the characters are. Of number four, Privet Drive. Like flexing that they very basic. Thank you. To be honest, they were the last people you'd think would be sus. Because they were all fax, no printer. I don't, I don't, I don't, this means nothing to me. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Mr. Dursley was adulting at a firm called Grunnings, which made drills. He was a dummy thick with three C's, man with hardly any neck. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Although he had an absolute unit of a moustache. Mrs. Dursley was a total Karen with zero chill and had hella neck. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit, dude? What? Which came in very useful when she was stalking her neighbours and not minding her own. The Dursley had a small son called Dudley who they thought was the main character. The Dursleys were mostly thriving, but they also had low-key tea, which didn't pass the vibe check, and their greatest fear was to get called out and cancelled. They were girl-bossing too close to the sun and didn't think that they could. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that? is that even, like, allowed? Is that a thing that you bought? I don't even know what half that even means. You young scallywags. What does girl bossing do? What does that mean? Girl boss too close to the sun. Girl boss, also known as girl bossism, what denotes a woman whose success is defined in opposition to the masculine business world in which she swims upstream. I don't understand what that even means. I'm not even going to try and think how someone half my age thinks, to be honest. Think independent female bizzle. <laughs> but in the context of the story, I don't understand it. They were girl bossing, so they, man, wife, and boy, were girl bossing too close to the sun and didn't think they could. But that was a double negative, man. So do you think they could go too close to the sun? I don't even know. It's an Icarus reference. Yeah, I get the, the flying too close to the sun, but it was a double negative and girl bossing was there. <laughs> Then, oh Aaron, I'll just stick to playing League and being old. I 
That's all you do, Bizzle? What, girl boss too close to the sun? Play League and be on. Okay, yeah, me too. I can relate to that. My wife gatekeeping Nando's. Yeah, true. My wife has gatekept Nando's. She probably say we can go, can, can go now, but now it's like... Now it's like, I have morals. I've been not going to Nando's for 31 years. I think I can manage another 31. Like, the challenge was put upon me, like, 13 years ago or something. I'll go when I'm 62. No, I'm planning to be dead by then, so it's all good. I decide what the tide will bring. But with all the climate change and everything, I'm, I'd be surprised if anyone can make it another 31 years, if I'm honest. I'm expecting UK summer to be like 60 degrees Celsius or something. <laughs> Like, it's not going to get any better, right? Isn't Germany, like, p burning coal like crazy right now because of the Russia oil stuff? And then Russia's just burning oil for funsies because they've got too much of it? Like, the planet's fucked. It was GG, like, 10 years ago. The best, our best option is to, to go live on Mars or something. Or the moon. You know all these products that are like, oh, we're now carbon neutral, guys. A fucking doubt. They said the, the Qatar World Cup was going to be uh, carbon neutral. <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, I think the only product in the world that is carbon neutral is... Um, crack. <laughs> now, hear me out, alright? Like, if you... Hold on. Okay, I shouldn't have flashed. Um... I think crack is carbon neutral because it's likely to kill the person taking it, right? So that that person can no longer produce any more carbon. So I think we should legalize crack. <laughs> just, just, just hand it out. To say, you want to make the planet a better place? Have some meth. I mean, why not, right? Should be government schemes and stuff. Surely. So are guns carbon neutral? No, they're not. Not unless you're American, at least, anyway. Hey, Bri, how you doing? <laughs> but yeah, that's my way to solve the, uh, the, the global crisis. Oh, I read a really kind of, well, I mean, it's a sad Reddit thread, but also, like, it, there was some amusing comments about... Oof. Uh, basically, there was a sign outside a school in Texas saying, like, um, the people inside are armed and dangerous and will use force if required. And it's just like, they were a bunch of Americans talking about how, like, in the 90s and 80s, how they could just show off their guns at the back of their truck. Like, someone was saying, oh, yeah, I got a new gun. And I was showing it to all my friends at the school and stuff. And it was like, it was fine. And then back then we had gun safety training for students and stuff. And then there was a funny like European like comment saying like how the fact that you guys even need to have 
gun training safety and stuff is just absolutely off the floor. Instead of just not having guns, you have to drill in gun safety stuff to five-year-olds. I got no flash. Don't you think it's fucking insane? I don't know how you Americans do it. Like I legit, if I was a, if I was in America, I don't think I would have wanted to have a child. Just because of how, like, I would be constantly scared every day to send my child to school. Like, I just don't understand it. Like how? Well, that's gonna be a fed mommy. Oh yeah, my wife's a teacher as well, Bree. So I'd be like constantly worried about it anyway. Like just regardless, it's just I don't know. The system is fucked. The kind of the crazy thing is as well is we have guns in in England. People don't realize, but we actually have a lot of guns. Not as much as America, but we do have a lot of guns in 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 uh, in the UK. But the amount of uh, shootings that we have is like near, you know, zero compared to America. And that's because the most of the people that have guns in the UK are people that have had vigorous checks and stuff. And also a lot of them are like farmers. So potential like a reason to have a gun. It's not like we don't have guns here, it's just like we just... We have knives. <laughs> um... But yeah, I don't know. I just don't understand. I would have thought by now, with how everything like is and people like campaigning, how like people are like pro campaigning more now these days, it feels like, and more like outrage protesting on the internet, how like more hasn't been done to do with gun reg regulation in America. I have to bubble the solution every time the Alistair goes in. Yeah, we, 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 we genuinely do, if you don't believe it. It may seem, seem kind of unbelievable, but we do have a lot of guns in the UK. I was surprised about how many guns we had. I thought like we basically it was super rare, but we actually, we do. can't do gun regulation in America without changing the constitution. I mean, yes, that's the kind of weird thing though, right? It's like, yeah, so me missing the stun revolution, I mean, he would have died anyway. Um, so laws can be changed, right? To fit the modern kind of era, right? So why can't the, can't the constitution be changed? Or like, you know, do you know what I mean? Well, why can't they just make like a, a sixth amendment saying like, oh, by the way, you can't have Things that can mow down children in, like, you know, uh, in the same rate, like. The fact that, like, assault rifles and stuff is just, like, normal is just, I can't even, like, there is no practical use for an assault rifle. <clears throat> Mm. 
I don't know. But it's like one of the weirdest things. It's what it's what I would visit. I would have visited America by now if it wasn't for the gun laws, honestly. And also the 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 sussy police, but it's a different thing. But yeah. Gun laws are, um, I'm actually kind of scared, I mean, it might be kind of stupid to, like, worry about it, because people go to America all the time and stuff, but, like, ever since there was that Vegas shooting back, when was it, like, I've always wanted to kind of visit Vegas, you know, just because it's, like, you know, it's kind of a place where you, it's a touristy kind of place. I don't gamble or anything, but I probably would have spent a couple of hundred quid for, like, some lol gamble degenerate stuff, and watch some shows and stuff just experience it but ever since there was that Vegas shooting with the guy in the hotel like ever since then I've been completely put off going to America yeah really the whole country has literally written me up yeah I, I, I can't yeah I'm serious yeah it made me kind of reevaluate like I, I've always thought of America as this kind of like, amazing kind of like, place, I don't know, just to visit. But now I regard it as a second world country. Yeah. I mean, UK is heading in uh, the same direction for sure, especially since post Brexit. Um, but yeah, like I think, like it, I, I, I guess, I always had the kind of pre 9-11 kind of like mentality of America about like how this America was the forefront of everything and you know capitalism and you should have the right to do whatever you like whatever do you know what I mean but I think capital I'm turning more communist every day I swear <laughs> like I think everything should be owned by the government. I live in America Anything and vital. I've written off the whole country, lol. Happy three months, bizzle, bizzle, heart. But I don't know, it's like, is it, am I even communist? I'm just more like left leaning than I realized, but I'm not like giga left. Does that make any sense at all? Like, I think anything that the public needs to use should be owned by the government. I mean, obviously, fingers crossed, you have a non-toxic government. Um, but, like, electricity, internet, water, rail, bus, everything like that kind of stuff should be owned by the government. I don't think any of it should be privatized. Healthcare. I mean, if you just like, you literally just like look like at the healthcare of America and then compare it to anywhere else that has free healthcare, it's just absolutely insane. I could not imagine being in an accident and then having to pay for a hospital bill and then having uh, to pay the ambulance bill. Like the ambulances in America are fucking insane. There's literally like private ambulance companies that like f fight over turf or picking up like injured people like what is going on man no you don't get to leave now after doing that you sack of shit hmm 
I'm not the best looking. You're in the ER for a bad ear infection. It's eight hundred, eight hundred dollars. It's insane. I mean, UK is heading in that direction. They're talking about making it so that you have to pay for doctor's visits and stuff. Communism isn't really answer. Yeah, okay. It's kind of, I mean, I don't, I'm turning like more communist, but I'm not turning into a communist. I'm turning more cent centrists. Centrist? Is that, is that the right term? I'm in the middle. I think capitalism has a place, but it doesn't have a place when it literally is the thing keeping society together. Once cap capitalism takes over, like, modern day human essential stuff, then that's when it's fucked. Because it's shown time and time and time again throughout the years that these people can't regulate themselves. And then the regulators are usually corrupt anyway. An enemy has been slain. There's quite a few people here that I don't want to be around. And I'm not talking about Twitch chat. <laughs> So people are saying like, you know, the government, for example, can be shit, right? But I can't think of a good service that is provided that is owned by a private, private company. I did it though, didn't I? Twitch chat. My quest beckons. But yeah, it's expected to have uh, some negative uh, comments about my opinion, which is fine. Getting a little bit intense? Yeah, it's my fault. I mean, this is what people vote on and stuff, isn't it? This is why uh, families literally don't talk to each other is because some of the topics I'm talking about, so... We will lose a few followers uh, for the statements I have just made. The controversial statements that um, guns are bad. If anything, I would like you to leave with one thought of today. Why is it that the American army is held to a higher standard with gun handling and stuff than the public? Like the American army, the individuals, they have to make sure they're in a secure location with lockers. They have to sign in and out with guns and stuff. Whereas Mr. D Mr. Joe can just buy a gun and just, you know... Keep it wherever he wants. Keeps it in his bedside cabinet. It doesn't matter.
Just saying. I haven't, I haven't just kind of realized I haven't seen a, an Alistair for a long time. It's going to say the inhib anyway. Thank you for the 30 months. Less than three. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. I was taking on the bubbles. Yeah, it's because he's a chunky guy. You're so arrogant to go through your life thinking someone isn't going to offend you. You're in for a rude awakening. Yeah, true. I used to, I don't know, I used to care more what people felt for of me. I still kind of do a bit, but against, like, political issues that I feel quite passionate about, I don't really care if other people have a, the wrong view. I'll listen to their views. And I'll try and understand it from their perspective to see if it changes my mind. But if you can't convince me, then I don't care if you hate me because I don't think guns should be allowed to, for the public in America and stuff. Like I'll, I don't mind listening to people's like counter arguments for stuff, and I'm happy to say I'm wrong, or I think okay, that's a good point that maybe we shouldn't like you know necessarily go through X Y Z. But, um, yeah, I've not, I've seen too much stuff to do with, you know, a government that should be owning public services like transport, electricity, internet, water, etc. For the government not to, should own it. I think capitalism on public services is has been a a pretty big failure in my opinion Shut down. now they write about switch here yeah Nivia's in trouble. That was a really good wall. Um. Okay. She's got Rod of Ages. I think it's fair to throw a blanket statement on all Americans, that's it. I don't think anything I've said is a, is a blanket statement, though. At least I haven't. I don't think I have. I've not... I don't think I've said, like, all Americans are stupid or anything like that. I think I've just, just, just generally just said, like, you know, guns are bad and kind. I guess it's a blanket statement on guns. Like, you just comments. I've seen it. Ah, okay. Yeah, some people don't know how to argument, particularly in text. So don't take everything to heart that people are saying in chat.
But yeah, sorry, I do kind of every now and then. I'm sure my mods are like sweating bullets right now. <laughs> Uh, every now and then, I do like to have a little rant about stuff like that. I don't even know how we even got onto the topic, but yeah. But if you don't like my political views on that, then I don't really care, if I'm honest. I don't think my views will ever change. I think guns are just like bad, okay? Guns are bad, okay? If you like your guns, that's great. I'm sure they're fun to fire. Just for the love of God, if you do like your guns, please make sure that you're locking them up safely and stuff. I mean, if most Americans... If every American did, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation at all anyway, would we? Don't take them to school to show everyone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. The Reddit, it was the Reddit thread, wasn't it? It's just kind of funny, dystopian kind of universe, really. Some of the stuff, some of the European laws compared to the American laws is very dystopian, I think. When you take Scorch versus Gathering Storm on Nami, I take Scorch every time. Nami's more of a laney phase bully. I don't think the AP, I mean, the extra, Scorch is obviously better until 10 minutes, and then at 10 minutes, I think it's about even, and then after 20 minutes, that's when Gathering Storm gets better, but it's already the first 20 minutes of the game that you haven't really had much of anything from Gathering Storm. Even with the W damage nerf? Yeah, because Scorch is still doing the same amount of damage. You'd be doing even less without Scorch. Matt Chemtech, is it worth it last game? Yeah, they had some healers on the team. Hecarim, Kane. I think it's crazy that an argument is based off a 234 year old document. I don't know the American law that well. I, I am, like, the, the country got founded on that bit of paper, right? And 234 year old, uh, uh, 20, 234 old document that founded an entire country is not old at all. Like, America as a country is very new in terms of, like, every other country in the, on the whole planet, right? America is a very, very new country. And I think a lot of it is like they're still discovering themselves and their own identity. And I think that's like one of the biggest issues that probably being an American is going through. Like the majority of buildings in the United Kingdom are older than America. <laughs> like, or at least a good chunk. <clears throat> so, yeah. Really, really. Wow. How do I feel about Nami right now? That game, it didn't feel too bad. Um, I did a game earlier. I think if you're in a position where you are trying to solo carry bot lane and your AD carry isn't doing too much as Nami, you'll notice the damage difference. If your AD carry is playing with you properly, you probably won't notice it quite as much. All right, see you, fame. Can I support, says the jungle. Oh. 
I can't jungle. Asking a support man to jungle? Rap to go AD carry. I'm playing AD carry, dude. How about just let me have the support that I was assigned to? <sighs> Crunked to top. Scott will go jungle. Rap to goes AD carry. Should I reply saying, no, you ain't my dad? <laughs> I'm like, what? Just reassigned three people in the champion selection. I think it's too late. I think I have to pay AD carry. I don't want to play AD carry into a Draven though. I don't know what I'm doing, mate. I'm AD carry, mate. I'm AD carry. You hype me. No one fights alone in the mist. This is fucking cars, dude. Just dodge, but no. I don't dodge any of my games ever. I have humongous bulls. I don't dodge any champion selection ever. Wait, really? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure I'm talking about something else. Croissants are overrated. Just get a plain donut. Actually true. As long as it's not a plain donut, to be honest. I'm not a fan. Type one in chat if you like plain donut with like no icing. Just a plain donut. No, no, those donuts are cursed. It's just fucking. No. I'm not running from them anymore. They're it's running from me. Cursed, dude. Plain donut. Donuts have to have a glaze. Yeah, absolutely. Like, minimum a filling. If there's no strawberry jam in my donut, I am molding. Hi, Medinga bought Spelthies because he's a Blanca and his name's Rodney. If you've got a problem with me, hmm, it's smaller than the diagram. One for each barrel. <laughs> Minions have 
And the plain donuts are cursed. I think that's probably. I think the people that typed one saying they would they like plain donuts are um are the problem of society. <laughs> I mean, if I was president, I would be locking you guys right up there. Like, I don't even think Trump would say he he likes plain donuts. I think mean, that's how fucked up you guys are for saying that. Yeah. Oh, he sold his spell thieves. He's got no item. What a clown. Why not just keep it to generate the gold and then sell it? What? The fuck am I watching, my dude? Do you think Jaime thinks he's Mr. Beast? Like, literally giving the enemy team gold for free? I think we do another quick words game again. Um, this karma is literally all by herself. Well, we got a lot of passive stacks off the karma though. All right, what about hot dogs, okay? I'm gonna, all right, let's find all the nutters. All right, type one in chat if you prefer your hot dog plain with no condiments. Type two if you prefer it with like ketchup, mustard, or both, like. We'll find, we'll find where the true nutters are, man. One and two, you can't have both, dude. There are ones in the chat. There are people that eat hot dogs without ketchup or mustard. What is wrong with you, dude? Like... I'll get us through this. That's nasty. Just, you might as well just eat a dry sandwich at that point, surely. It did work. Darkness to darkness, light to light. Now, if I'm having a hot dog, I'm having a little bit of English mustard. I'm having some ketchup. What are you talking about, guys? Why not French mustard? You get a French mustard, yeah, sure. I quite like English mustard though. Not so fan of so, so much a fan of the French mustard.
It's kind of a spicy ball then. Oh! I think an assist. I can't grab Draven Soul either. That didn't hit. Okay, we have three kills, zero death. All right, we're gonna find the actual true, true lunatics. Okay, are you guys ready for the ultimate food question? The more blood on your hands, okay, imagine this. You got two slices of bread. You put them in the toaster. You get out some butter or margarine, you getting that ready? With a knife, obviously. How else are you gonna spread that on that bad boy? You get some baked beans ready. Okay. Get some butter on that toast. You put the baked beans on top. Mm-mm, type one for yeah, two for no. Oh no. I've got a bounty on me as well. Draven got it. If you type 2, you're a loser. <laughs> you have not lived. How could you guys not like baked beans on toast? Chat, what is wrong, dude? Have you even tried it? Like, once you've tried it, I bet you haven't even tried it. I bet all the people type into it are like, Oh no, it's it's British. It's British cuisine. It's gonna be bad. It's absolutely amazing. Saw someone mix baked beans into plain pasta on Twitter last night. All right, they're just doing that for for views. There's no way that's real. No one does that. It has to be Heinz beans though. It can't be like generic 30p kind of crappy baked beans. It has to be Heinz. It can't be any other type of baked beans. Nothing else compares. If you use anything else other than Heinz, you're a traitor to the British Empire. Try Branston. I've never tried Branston before, actually. I have heard they're quite good. I'll allow Branston as well. Oh no. Okay, chat, what about cheese on toast? One for yes, two for no. Cheese on toast. You gotta like cheese on toast, surely. We know, bud. You're just saying no to be edgy now. How can you not like cheese on toast? You f actual lunatics in the chat. Like, I should report you guys to anyone who says two. I swear you are like some sort of serial killer slash creepy person, right? How can you not like cheese on toast? Like even if you have like if you're lactose intolerant. Even if you lack all of your ten toes, you'd still eat it. An ally has been slain. 
Disgrace. Oh, do you guys want to hear something disgusting? Like, well, I don't know, it wasn't that bad, but it was kind of disgusting. When you hear it, you're going to kind of wince a little bit. Um, so to, to spice up my food as a teenager, I had a sausage roll, right? But I, I kind of, I used to like heat them up, right? In the microwave. Ain't got time to put them in the oven. All right, wife, no problem. But um, I used to, so I used to cut them up and put them in, uh, well, I used to put them in the microwave, right, to, to heat them up because they're nicer, warmer. And um, I, de I designed a new strat for sausage rolls. So I would slice them in, in like uh, sideways a little bit and then insert some, um, some cheddar cheese and then microwave it like that. It was kind of pog, I'm not gonna lie. With a little bit of ketchup on the side. The uh, the sausage roll goes kind of soft. Um, but it was it was quite tasty actually. Yeah, I probably would try it in the in a in the oven now. Not a microwave, but I mean, it's a quick what, one one minute gig or something. That's not American just then. I don't know. Just add a gun to it or something. I don't fucking know. Put a pop tart on top of it and go, yeehaw. Look at this gold generation. I'm hacking and gaming the system right now. 1,100 gold on my support item. And we're going to keep on going. Oh, look at that. 1,130. How does he do it? I'm tax avoiding. In game. All right, we've got our quick blades. What was it? Rapid fire next. That's what we did in the other game. It's about to cry if you left that song. <laughs> My walls aren't unbreakable. What mythic do I go on, Santa? Uh, Kraken. Mm. That Draven is. Very kind and giving. Oh, come on, uh, the whole zoo's here. Got the flying fox, you got the... I don't know what the Vi is. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, they're just going straight for me. They identified that I am the carry. I got all tea. Is the fanity Senna still bad? I don't know. I haven't played. This is the only time I've been playing Senna is today. I haven't done the fanity Senna and I don't want to. Where are you at?
Uh, fuck you, you flashed him for a minute. You're dead. Know your place. I can't reach that soul though. Oh, that's gone now. I think if I autoed attack the wolf a couple of times, I could queue to the ward to then get the soul. Oh, not again! It's fine. No one of importance died. Lamau. For thy ulti. Fuck off, my dude. Um. Why is it when you kill Yumi you don't get like nine souls? I feel like that would have been an appropriate now. For Yumi and then a buff for Senna. Hey Rogue, thank you for the prime sub, welcome to the berry bush. Thank you very much. Alright, see you, Miss Waggy. Take care. Trying to do an edge of night. What did I buy? Th oh, Kraken, isn't it? I need to do mythic. If something wasn't trying to kill me, it would have to hey, Rogue. Is someone still playing Yumi off the nerfs? Yeah, there's bound to be. There's Yumi one trip ponies and stuff. Well, I've played that fight quite nicely, actually. Holy! Yeah, I can't die that easily, though. I've got to make it a little bit harder. It was a nice W onto the Draven. Yeah, if I die like that again, and my team isn't able to finish up like the Vex just did, then um, they get Baron. Were they actually doing it? They started doing Baron. They can't do it, surely. They're trolling. God. Oh my god. Why were they doing Baron then? Do 
rooted the Draven. That went to like 90 HP. I don't want to flash. He's like waiting for me to do it, and I'm like, no. Oh, fuck. I messed up the angle on that. There's two souls. They're gonna die. Too tanky, man. Uh, I dodged a lot of the stuff at the start, didn't I? Just didn't have enough damage. Plus, I need some anti heal. I think I might have to buy executioners. You know, in this um, this log, I would like to see how much damage you dealt to people in that time frame as well. I would have been, been interested to see how much damage I did against Aatrox there. Because I think they have that in like, um... LCS and stuff, don't they? They have like recently... Like in the last team fight, so and so did this amount of damage, right? Is that right, chat? I don't want Jelly C. LCS. But I'm pretty sure they do that, don't they? I don't see any reason why we couldn't have it in our logs. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to complain that there's no ward over that wall and that I wish someone would put down a ward and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm actually the fucking support dude. <laughs> Uh oh, yeah, it's my job. Oh, fuck off. It's literally just the vial. Just is the one thing that you're not allowed to dodge. Everything that's happened, I just want it to matter. I guess soon I'll probably end up sending the support item anyway. Is 
the dragon in 25 seconds and it's our soul. Thing is, they have to answer bot though. Well, I guess they don't have to. So we're gonna get a dragon anyway. Got people coming behind me. Should have just went for the turret. <clears throat> I don't know what is better. What's happened to Mortal Reminder? Does anyone know? I guess I can just check quickly. Mortal Reminder has no attack speed, has 30% armor penetration. Wait, what? Really? Oh, it builds from last... Okay. 0% movement speed, though. Yeah, I guess we grab this. Bloody hell, it's expensive. Why does it have 0%? Because they they can't change tour tips properly in hot fixes. They um they can only do it if it's like a proper patch where they take the service down and stuff. It's like it's the same for like TFT and stuff. Like the stuff always glitches out in the mid patches because they don't have the capability to do it in a hot fix for whatever reason. Some more souls, please. Told you, I never dodge. <laughs> we make it work. It doesn't matter if it's a toxic champion selection. And the high Medinger with no starting item but has two health potions. We make it work. Ninety nine LP Top one damage. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. This last two center games were actually quite good. Um I gotta try an IE build though, I think, at one point. Test the difference in feeling between IE and quick blades. But um It does pump the W cooldown in particular. Once you throw out the W and then start auto attacking, it's like the W is then nearly off cooldown by the time they come out of the route. So it's quite nice. All right, chat. I'm gonna be heading off now. Um, I hope you guys had fun today, even with some of the political conversations that we were having uh, earlier on. I know the mods loved it. Um. I will be streaming again on the weekend. Uh, there is episode 3 of Unranked 2 Diamond on the main channel, which I'll link in the chat in case you haven't seen it. It's a Nami game. I played it this morning. There you go. That's the video. 
and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll be back tomorrow like late morning ish so yeah enjoy the rest of your evening and um, yeah bye Right, now that all the losers have gone, um, who wants some codes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have... Should we do some Zidian? Winter Bless Zidian? Man, Nightbot giveaway stuff is so wonky, man. Um, can you type hi in the chat? Just so I can see if Nightbot's actually even working. For whatever reason, it registered that Eric typed something, but nobody else. Okay, now it has. Okay, okay. Right. Um, yeah, if you want a chance at, at winning a, um, a Gragas, no, a Zillion code, sorry, a Winter Plus Zillion code, just type Zillion in the chat. It's a code for uh, any server. I'll give out like five and then I'll actually head off for reals. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Mr. Mobius strip. Can you type hi in the chat and I'll uh, send you a code. And we have Coco Shorty. Can you also type hi in the chat? I'm sending them all via uh, Twitch DM if you do win, by the way. Um, another one, Greasley. And then we'll do another one. Uh, Sapphire Wolf 10. I'll do like three more after this one. Hey. Imagine closing the stream and missing out on codes. <laughs> Uh, Yuri. I just need to check I didn't send, send the same code out twice because that would be kind of awkward, right? No, I didn't. Good. Uh, we we'll do two more. Handru. There you go, hand. Um. Uh, 
and we will do one last one. <laughs> My bot! Wow, you got another one? Whoa! Roll. Overjoyed. I don't know why Nightbot keeps giving itself winning the giveaways. <laughs> you know what's... Yeah, okay. All right, that's that's the last uh, Zillion code that I'm going to do for today. I'll do some more on the weekend. I need to kind of get rid of these. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed the the codes and uh, I'll see you guys again tomorrow all right go check out the YouTube video that I posted on the main channel say bye chat bye Is he actually gone though? Does Bizzleberry have more goats to give away? He, he kind of tricked Jack twice, right? If you want a chance at winning Space Groove Crackers, get ready to type this following keyword in the chat. The keyword is... <laughs>